Hi, everybody. Welcome back to Major Renaissance, episode 57 with me, Sid. And uh, we're back in the overworld. I'm in a little break from between for a while. And I need to gather some things. Uh, oh, I don't know. We'll go with some of them, maybe. One, two, three, four, five, six. Uh, uh, we definitely need a sapling. We'll go with a box standard because we know they work. Uh, we're going to need some uh, marble, 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 that's quartz, there's a marble all up in the, we've got a little bit, that will do, and uh, we've got a bucket, and uh, yeah, that should do us for now. So we are going to take a suggestion that was made to me by Mark, um, and last episode, we oh, several episodes ago maybe not last episode we happen to notice why is it so misty Ooh, creepy we happen to notice that larry here chuck's mate here had, had died it was the vicious vicious victim of of a tree a growing tree that that killed him dead like a dead thing deader than a dead thing in fact it was he was so dead his his deadness knew no bounds to how dead he was going to get and uh, consequently um he he died and you know obviously that's what being dead means and so we uh, need to do a little bit of uh, stuff first things first i am going to need my astral sorcery bag Bang, uh, bang, and we're going to need a bit of that red. Oh, wow. <laughs> Look at that. Oh, and there's another astral tome. Oh, man, one of these astral tomes has almost certainly got something in it that we want. But um, anyway, we'll carry on with that. And we are going to infuse that with liquid starlight. And we are going to collect a little bit of liquid starlight from there. And everything will be good. And, uh, oh, wow. Wow. Did I actually get an infusion there without actually using a bucket? That's cool. Right. Well, wow. That is a bizarre visual effect. Night vision f <laughs> fading as the thingy does its thingy with the thingy. Okay. Um, we're going to need a uh, chisel. Uh, we are going to need our book. And the book is going to tell us that to make a tree beacon. Uh-huh. We need that and that with ruined marble. Okay, that is the ruined marble. Ruined, ruined marble. Right, so we go bucket, tree, and that. And then that and that with six and six. And we should have enough. No sound, because, you know, thanks to Mr... Uh, Super sound muffler bauble. Greatest invention ever. And we will get the tree beacon. Now, I'm not, I've never used this before, so uh, do not be surprised if this fails dramatically. No, it probably won't. It's a thing. But it's going to take a while. And uh, we get this thing here. Tree beacon. Lovely. Uh, which, let's have a read about the tree beacon. So, blah, blah, blah. Liquid, uh, how could it be applied? Simplistic design by which saplings are infused just before they grow with liquid starlight they would seem to allow resonant gem to drain bits and pieces from a tree when it grows a specialized tree construction of starlight sensitive materials should act as a beacon for this effect it also has its limits due to the nature slowly be consumed over time ejecting their materials there's also a limit to how many times the tree how many trees the tree beacon can support before it simply won't infuse them with liquid starlight due to remaining after breaking the artificial tree, all previously infused saplings will turn back into normal trees. Hmm. I, I think the first thing we probably therefore want to do is pop that away. And pop that away. And then jump in here and grab our thingy and do the thingy with the thingy and we're good. And we just leap. The next thing we want to do is is go straight down he oh hello how are you wow oh wow we got a few got a few little friends 
All want a piece. Come on then. Have that, don't mind if I do, thank you. And yeah, you worked out who was shooting at you, didn't you? And uh He's dead too. And you're dead, I don't want your sword though. Um you really didn't drop much worthwhile. Damn. Right, get rid of that, get rid of that. We'll keep the spell book because it's in it. Ooh, hello, what are you? Uh, slime with redstone in, not interested. Uh, <laughs> and yeah. Right. Anybody want a piece of me? That, that green fella over there looks like we might get trouble if we let him anywhere near us. Not now. I feel. What is there? Something up there? No, it must be underground then. All right, let me get in here. So, as this stands, we currently have a Golemancer spell, which is doing that and. that that one well, we don't want any uh, just 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 be a chuck come on and so we're going to pull all of these out because I'm not going to be growing multiple trees we're going to be ah we're growing one tree as best as I can tell and we'll pick you up as well because I really don't want you wandering around while I experiment with this. So if I place this in the world, what is it this thing doing? Do I just put a sapling down there? I don't know. I genuinely am not entirely sure how this works. Or do I? Hmm. Don't know how this works. Do you do some? I don't know what he's doing. Uh, probably a bit of bone meal wouldn't hurt. Oh, I threw the bone away, didn't I? Uh, okay, go and grab some. It's not like we're short of bones. Right, wait, 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 wait. Let's see what happens when we grow a tree. Mm-hmm. Told you I'd never used it before. Uh, a few of them, half a dozen. Oh. Need to watch that. My punch is so powerful I break the barrels. <laughs> anyway, let's go and try this again. With a little bit of uh, this going on. There he is. Well, what is happening here then? I generally have no idea. This is bizarre. I mean, there's nothing for them to chop down, is there? I think I'm going to have to work this one out because this makes no sense to me whatsoever. <laughs> this, is, I mean, what, 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 what is this doing? It's, it's not doing anything. Um, I'm going to take you, oh, there you go, we've got a tree back, okay, get rid of you, and we'll try that again, I'm just going to try, hmm, 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 oh, bum, uh, I haven't got a crafting grid in this, have I, no, uh, there's a crafting table through here, let's just try placing, tell you what, let me just go and work this out, I'll be back in a second, 
All right, I think I've worked out how this thing works. This thing basically drops stacks and stacks of stuff and just doesn't really care about anything else. So what we have got on here currently is we've got a, uh, you are a, let me get this right, you are a filtering, and if I come in here, you are a provisioning. So I want to get rid of the provisioning. That's fine. Now, if I pop a... Hmm, hang on. If I put a... Uh, let me drop that here stick the collection seal there and then we want to go up one two and then give that the full range again let me just check is how's that looking that should be fine and then we can just block that out with a little bit of crap and that and put down this guy. Now this guy should be able to handle collecting. Yeah. And he will just wander around and pick things up. This, when it dies, will basically die. Um, but apparently a typical run of this will yield about two or three double chests. Now this is obviously a double chest in its own right. So I think all we need to do now is take that to maybe a diamond chest level and we should be fine. Yeah, I mean, I did I did say in the comments that that wouldn't be as much fun uh, and I kind of stand by that, it's easy, but it is definitely more efficient. So I will concede that it's more efficient, especially when it comes to... Uh, I don't want a crate, I want chest. And I want a iron to gold, not an iron to gold shulker, an iron to gold chest, which is just an iron uh, Okay, one of them, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then we want a gold to diamond, which is another gold, two, uh, two diamonds, I think it was two, and some glass. One, two, three, four, five, six. Right. Let's get... Ooh, let's not do it there. Let's do it here. Um, so one of them to that gives there. And then a gold to diamond was that with that and that and then those. That should do the trick. And we can go and play with these and... That should be certainly big enough to provide almost everything we could ever want. I think that will keep us going for a while, and, and that is doing its growing. So I'm going to run away because that is a rocket creeper, and I really don't want it to start shooting me. Um, so having done that, the next thing I need to make is a deft golem, a deft smart golem. Um, so we're going to go and put these away anyway. Let me just put my stuff that we don't want away. And uh, yeah, I'll be back in a moment. All right, before we head out, we did pick up that spell book. It was a master spell. It's unknown. So let us stay away from him because he will make he will make our day unpleasant. And let us just head over here. Ooh, I like it. Lightning web. Mm, can I find something to play with that's not a rocket creeper? See, lightning web kind of suggests multiple targets. But to get multiple... Oh, there's another casualty of the uh, merchant war there. Uh, hey... Hi, how are you doing? No. Come on, there must be some way to get a few of these animals 
together in a, in like a bunch and just to see well i suppose the other thing is i could just read the book um what does the manual say attack focus channel the storm in your mind through your wand unleashes fury Oh, I like that. <laughs> I like that. That is fun. So here is a question that I've been having in my head while I think about this before we go on and carry on with our uh, Thorncraft work. The overworld weaponry does not do a huge amount of damage to between lands mobs um, and that is by design and the question therefore is if that is the case what is the optimal thing are we better to take um, a our master sorcerers one 60% on there uh, or master and try some offensive spells because that would work uh, I'm going to stick the master ice mage one away I don't think I've got an electric that is a pyromancer's wand I don't have I got a healing one yeah that's not going to help a great deal I don't think I've had a uh, forest that's a forest that's a forest that's a death uh, I don't think I've had a um, an electrical storm wand which would would be ideal oh well that's um that's advanced that's master and it is actually pretty good that one so there's there's potentially stuff we could do using those in the between lands i don't know however i don't want to get i don't want to get too sidetracked which given that we're talking about me here is you know highly unlikely anyway um i want to get a golem made. So let's head over, travel to my mage tower, and let's go and work out what we actually need to make the golem I want. So I'd like it to be smart, and it has to be deft. Um, I kind of like it to fly actually, but I haven't got that one unlocked, have I? I don't suppose it matters actually. Um, that one, it will be fine with actually basic legs. It doesn't really need anything like that. Uh, and how do how tough do I want him to be? Clay, uh, sturdy, but the resulting is relatively light. Doesn't have brass. Uh, is Okay, uh, why are you... Oh, he's got delicate components, that's why. So, I mean, we could just go with with wood. I don't think we need anything greater than that. And I don't think we need to add a carrying capability because it's, the purpose for this will become apparent. Mechina 16, four great wood planks, three arcane mechanisms and a biothormic mind. Let's go and have a look what we've got. Because obviously our... Oh, we've got the biothormic. Excellent. I don't think either of these are deft. So that's the kind of a thing we need. Four great wood planks. Ooh, excellent. Uh, then the mechan... Uh, three of the... Oh, wow. <laughs> and then it was mechina, wasn't it? Uh, which we've got 35. I can't remember how much we needed. How much did we need? 16, apparently, to make that. go <laughs> now this fella he's going to have a name as well I don't think I've got a I didn't leave an envelope here did I apart from that one which it would be really nice if you could use that but you can't so there's no point grumbling about it uh, no we need an anvil let's head back to my actually I need a use seal. I don't need any of these other seals, just a use seal. 
Okay, that's fine. Now we can head back to the main home and we can get a name tag, I suppose. What did I... Hmm. What did I do for Anvil Arization? I honestly can't remember. Where the hell did I put my anvil? Anybody? Uh, by the way, this is this stuff here. I got a question commented. Is bone armor from the gravestone mod? So if you're wondering what that was, which I know one of you was, and I will have answered by now because I'm honest, I'm, I'm really good at answering comments these days. I'm actually it's one of my uh, pet guilt. Oh, I know where the anvil is. Um, pet guilt at the moment is I am really, really, really quite crap at answering comments, and it's not because I don't, I don't read them. It's just because of purely time. Uh, I'm going to call this guy Randy. Because I can't think of a better name for him. Randy the Golem. Okay. Yeah, so I do actually read all the comments. Um, and I try to reply, but... Time. Time is always my enemy. Um, right. We need to take Randy. And we're going to go and visit the Betweenland now. So, uh, yeah. That's the thing. We may at some point. Uh, uh, you are very lucky. Yes, very lucky. I could have killed you then. It, I don't think he understands. Okay, let's uh, warp reality. Ooh. And. When we get here, we can whiz out and get airborne as fast as possible before anything totally unpleasant, like that wraith there, um, comes and tries to eat us. We're, we are going to go and kill some of these, because I, ow, I was going to try and kill it anyway. There we go. Um, oh, there's another one, a little baby sludge monster. Uh, and there was a... I did see a wraith. Where did he go? I could have sworn I saw him. Did he despawn? Must have despawned. That's a first. They don't normally do that. Anyway, we've got a good time to come. It's nice. The weather's, the weather's particularly fine. Uh, for the between lands. And it's not too... Yeah, dead. Um, the punch scene still seems to be the best weapon of choice, you know. Anyway, yeah, let's move on. So, I think it was last episode I postulated a question, and that was... Doing this stuff... Really, really boring. So I got to thinking, well... You know what, if I were to place a use thing on just one of them, I don't want to have, I mean, I could have multiple uh, guys going, but I've got some other plans yet. Uh, we can configure that, and we can sit there and say to it that I would like you to left-click it, and you make it and click empty air. And then, when we put Randy into the world here, Randy is going to sit there and... He's getting a regeneration effect, but you should be spotting that. Left click, can it click empty air? That's correct. Oh, can you use not that one, it's that. Now you see, he's just going to sit there and run that for me all day, quite happily. I'll never get bored. bit of lag there but you know so if we couple that up with uh, well, I don't know let's say um, hoppers uh, and because we've got 
a thymorite hopper option we can do a chest and thymorite so might as well stick to what we've got in this world one two three four five one two three four five and wooden stuff a couple of chests excellent and then we can get all of that so what we're going to do is we're going to pick you up come here you we're going to pick that off and we are going to go and I don't know we'll how do I want to do this bring that one forward and we're going to put you right we're going to bring a hole in the ground there hole in the ground there oh not quite hang on there put that in there just to keep it looking nice and then we shall get one of our Simerite hoppers and we'll pop it facing over there and that can come out there and uh, we'll stick another bit of hoofa doofa in that and make another quick weedwood chest because we can and that can go in there and then we're going to get this and it's going to go on there we're going to get this and that is going to go into uh, if we can get around the back here there I'll probably may bring these forward as well just to kind of try and tidy this up uh, now one thing we can't put in there well, I'll tell a lie one thing we can put in there is pestle and mortar um, so we can yeah we can basically do that and then what we can do is we pop the leaves and that will populate there get back here do that and that and then again we're going to do left click empty hand and we're going to pop Randy down there and he's going to sit there and he's going to be populating that with that which is lovely but that means then we can sit there and take all of these things we know will not those they may actually uh, we should probably test one of those but and that will go and uh, what we need is another chest of weedy woodiness one two helps if you turn oh that uh, the one thing I wish the between land had was the planks and the logs looking sufficiently different but we can pop all of that in there and and this guy's just gonna do the work right I need to do a little bit of decorating and some uh, some more work in here I think so I'm going to take these for starters and we're going to take this out of the way help 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 what you're waiting on the lag there weren't you so pop that there pop that there and we'll bring that forward to there and there and then we'll stick that one in there that one in there uh, and That doesn't compost. Okay, that doesn't go. So that is just a plant. Surprising, I thought that did. Plant kelp, I bet it does. Um, now we can obviously, uh, I can put that in there. We can do things ourselves as well. So there's nothing to stop us helping out. Um, but we can get a little shot of him busy there. I just thought that would seem to be an obvious way to automate this. Now, the other thing we need is to get a whole load of these. I want to make a whole load of these tables. So, the table was relatively cheap. Uh, we can obviously do the oak rustic way, but I like that Chinese one. It really did look nice. It's pressure, pressure plates and sticks. Up. Uh, helps if you don't click on that 
Um, I think we had, we can use their sticks, but we can't use, we got to use those because that's the wrong kind of pressure plate. What happens if I mix and match? Can I mix and match? I can. Okay, that's handy. So we'll do that. So let me just get a few bits of uh, furniture built and I should be back in a second. All right. Um, I've got this. I'm just kind of holding it. I've been holding on to it so it will repair. Because this guy is wearing these out at a rate of knots. I mean, you can see just there he's, he's already ground all of that. This lot's all in. Obviously, there's more to go, but um, yeah, we can we can work that now. Down here, I put some tables, and these tables are going to be once we have uh, rejigged the. Oh, I didn't. I know what I did mean to bring. I didn't. I didn't bring it with me. But it's all right. I have a weed wood slab, so that'll do. This doesn't have to be overly luxurious in its nature. Because this is where our, I would use the word guinea pigs are going to go, but um, it's not. It's where our geckos are going to go, and where we can test on these, where we can test these things. So we need nine geckos: one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And uh, yeah, we can uh, see these ones are sulking with us. They're showing us the bums. These ones are fine, they're sideways on, and these ones are obviously also showing us their bums. I don't know what's going on here, doesn't really matter. And then what you do is we grab some ground soft rush for example now we haven't done ground soft rush these are all the ground things we've got so far um and we'll put the reed rope away uh, in fact we'll put that and that and that away as well for now um so we can take for example that and that oops that and that we should also take our herbal book, so we've got it on us. And we shall go to this guy. He is twitching. Uh, that one's chewing on his tail and he's, he looks like he's possessed. And that seems to be the last one and it's, it's a hunger one. Okay. Then we can come to these guys and go to that one is red glow and breathes fire. That one, oh, and that is everything. There is only one aspect on that. So, again, I'll keep them in batches of three. That one becomes rock hard and can barely move. Oh, and that's okay. And then as we research them, we pop them up there. Uh, I don't know what that ground leaf was. Was it ground soft rush? Was the one I just tested, wasn't it? Um. And that gives us our list of ingredients now, which we can now start to see that we've got that, we've got the blah blah, uh, but you'll be able to see if you go in here that you can see that this, as you're in, in that, and that, and that, this has got earth, earth element, tier 2 aspect, that is fire, so yeah. We can we can at least do the research, and this guy will just save us the tedium of grinding. But on that note, I just did want to check something, didn't I? Did I? We obviously found that, didn't I? Oh, we did find another one. So we've got the tower to play with, and I think we should probably do that next episode. There's something I want to try with those, though, uh, and we can actually test it um, before we go over here with the uh, button let's go and grab this while this guy's busy and while it's reasonably light out here uh, and we'll just we'll get it far enough away that I don't want to and then we shall tap you with 
that that sets your coordinates right now somewhere over here hang on if I zoom in where were they were they oh, they were up here there's a loads of spawners uh, which is that way I want to see if we can move the between land spawners the same way we can move the uh, normal spawners. Hello. Yeah, that didn't work. Um, because if we can, that could be quite useful. Ah, there's one there. Better still. Right. Let's get in here and there. And then we shall very quickly pop you there. We'll pop that in and then we shall pop that on and... Hmm. Oh, leech spawner. Lovely. Just what we wanted. Get off me. Die. There's another leech around somewhere. I can hear him. Oh, they're on the roof. Okay, so can't seem to do it like that. Maybe if we were to place it underneath. We can. Well, that answers that question then. I did hear a leech. There. So... For reference, we can actually steal the spawners, which means we can potentially steal all the spawners we come across. Now, there's one other thing I wanted to have a look at when I, while I was here. What is this? What do we do with that? It's an angry between stone, and I have no idea what it's for. If anybody knows, and they want to pass on that such knowledge... Um, I I am always happy. You can't right click. You can break it all you like, but you can't right click. Uh, get away! Did I just hear another one? I didn't bring any food with me, so uh, I'm going to head back and leave leave that alone, I think. Because that actually did a hell of a lot of damage, and a uh, surprising amount of damage, actually. Oh, hello. Have you got a heart you don't want? No. Heartless. Anyway, yeah. Um, so we've ha got a leech spawner up on the uh, on the top here now, which we can obviously control. Because if I was to place it on top of, say, a gla uh, pile of glass, then. Uh, could be beneficial. Let's get a well away from that though for now. Yeah, just useful to know that the various things you can and can't do. How are you doing there? Oh wow, that's getting worn out. Hang on. Um, let's just give you that one, shall we? Right, well, I need to eat. Um, I need to continue on letting this thing. I also need to work out what we can do with these because there doesn't appear to be any particular use for them. Um, and yeah, that's kind of where we're at. Let me just eat some nibble, nibble sticks. And there we go. And uh, I think until next time, thank you very much for watching, guys. We'll, uh, I think we should probably... Uh, if I leave you working, will you finish? No, of course you won't. Uh, we'll put that away. I just want to go see how that tree farm's doing. 
um, before we finish off here I just kind of thought about things that we should do and things that make you go who uh, no things that things that make you go what's happening at the tree farm I'll just check that out and uh, I'll be back in a second what happened was I didn't chunk load it so uh, they didn't do anything um, it was just waiting really but it seems to be working so uh, until next time thank you very much for watching guys and I will see you soon and bye for now